Can you remember all the digits of pi? 3.141592653589. All right, you get the idea. 99% of people out there don't have a photographic memory. That may not sound like a promising statistic, but here's what most people don't understand. You do not have to be born with a photographic memory in order to have the incredible memory skills. In fact, some of the most incredible memory masters in the world are self-taught. I'm gonna teach you the skills to have a photographic memory and how to have a mind like an elephant by watching this video. First, I have a little exercise I'd like you to do with me. Are you ready? Close your eyes and imagine you are pulling up to the front of your house. Visualize your front yard, visualize the porch, visualize the stairs leading up to the door, whatever your house looks like. Suddenly hear a loud rumbling sound. Then something bursts out on the front lawn in a cloud of dirt in the glass and it's Santa Claus and Rudolph covered with dirt and run past them into your house. You open the front door and walk into your entryway to find that there is a large rhino standing right in front of you. Sitting there on top of your coffee table is a sight you can hardly believe. It's a big Buddha meditating there right on the coffee table. You open the fridge and you are surprised to find an entire army of garden gnomes have overtaken your fridge. Okay, you can open your eyes now. I bet I know what you're thinking. What the heck, Drew? What have you been juicing? You'll be surprised to know that the visualization I just put you through is a set of ancient techniques invented in 2,500 years ago in Greece to help with the photographic memory. You see, most people are much better at remembering things through pictures than they are through associations, not repetition. Mnemonics have been proven to be much more effective. Mnemonics are the memory devices that help you recall large pieces of information. A study done by Gerard L. Miller in 1967 found that students who regularly use mnemonics increased their test scores by 77%. Here's another example of how mnemonics work. If you tell one person to remember that there was a man named Mr. Baker and you tell another person to remember a baker like a cook, who do you think will be able to remember the best? Think of a baker, we think of someone in the kitchen with a tall white hat and flour in their hands. But telling somebody just remember somebody by the name of Baker won't have an image associated with the name and they're much more likely to forget. Here's more proof. Do you remember the name of a man I talked about who did a study on mnemonics? Probably not. But do you remember who burst out of your front lawn in the visualization exercise? Of course you do. Santa Claus. Check out the blog below for some fun ways to learn how to have a photographic memory and let me know how your memory is. What would you like your memory to be like? Leave it in the comments below. As always, I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. And remember, remember things in pictures and you'll be much more effective. I'm Drew Canoli. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, remember, we're in this together. I'll see you soon.